Okay, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Polani. Uh, on this Thursday, I, my, my guest is uh, Dr. Femi Okeo Tolu, uh, Permanent Secretary, Lagos State Emergency Management Agency. Uh, as you know, we used to describe him differently, uh, but then a promotion arrived along the line. I think the, the governor approved uh, your elevation to a permanent secretary. I just wanted to get all of this right because we used to introduce you as the GM of, uh, you know, <laughs> of uh, Lasema. Now, you're still the top honcho in Lasema, I imagine. Yeah, uh, I'm highly privileged and I'm, I'm highly humble. I'm still the permanent secretary and the super ego, the eyeball of emergency services. There you go. State. Good on you. Good on you. Thank you very much, Dr. Femi. Okay, I'll sign to look. Um, you know, when I, in, I noticed that it was on Tuesday, you, you, you do what you do and, you know, credit be given, you know, nothing but good reports in how you guys move around with equipment and personnel and try to intervene when we have these disasters. Now, on the first of this month, uh, that was on a Tuesday, um, it seemed to me the reports that I was getting, as along with my colleagues, I mean, that was one heck of a busy day. From, it seemed from one part of the state to another. I remember that there was an incident on that day um, uh, at, uh, behind Teju Osho Market. Uh, I, think we, I believe they call it a, a Kitchen Market. There was an incident there. You were there. Then there was a fab outbreak at a, at a, a Providus a Bank that's under construction. That's all the way over in uh, VI. Then there was also something, there was a trailer uh, laden with fuel, uh, a tanker laden with fuel uh, somewhere around the Pony Axis that was, you know, uh, an accident waiting to happen, but you guys moved in there and um, you sort of took it off. Now I wanted to ask, the first thing I wanted to ask is, apart from a day in the life of La Sema, that might be an interesting topic, I wanted to ask you, that first, where all those things happened, perhaps even more, that, we, that, that I didn't get reports of, uh, that surely was an extraordinary day. Or is that an ordinary day in the life of Lasema officials? You see, it is an ordinary day in the life of Lagos State, Metropolitan, Cosmopolitan. And you can see our emergency services, what Mr. Governor, Mr. Babajide Olushola Songolu, has turned emergency services in Lagos State to, for us to be able to respond anywhere in Lagos State simultaneously at the same. You can see that the emergency system under the watch of Mr. Governor is robust, is effective, is functional, and very, very efficient. And we keep the golden rule, the golden hour, judiciously. OK. When you say, uh, never mind Lasema, uh, Lagos Metropolis, uh, the way I'm going to take that is that it is indeed a metropolis. It's so, so how, how many, well, what's the uh, ballpark uh, figure for population that we're using in Lagos? Well, we are using close to 30 million now. Close to 30 million. So when you have up to 30 million people um, living in a state and these people are moving around into different venues, um, I guess a lot could happen uh, in the way of emergency is what you mean. And indeed, some of them were happening. So that's why I, I picked out that particular day unless it is just a day that I happened to get these reports. The same thing is going on on other days that you didn't get the reports. Is that what you're saying? Or was that day somehow uh, hectic, but you guys were up to the task? No, it's not. It's a normal, it's a normal. The, 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 our people in the emergency circle will say it is a normal phenomenon. So, correct me, fire outbreak at Kitchen Market behind Teju Osho? Yeah. On that same uh, on first? That same, and, and uh, that same uh, the Providers bank, bank under construction at Adeola Adeku? Yeah. That same day? That same day. And you, I saw that you were involved, you were reporting. It means you crossed over from Yaba uh, for another emergency is happening at uh, VI Adeola Adeku. Uh, then there's also, uh, and then, of course, there's the Pony one. Uh, at least those three I remember. It shows the proneness in coordination ability of emergency services in Lagos State. It shows that we have a plan in place. It shows that we have resources and manpower in place mm. to kickstart any form of emergency mm -hmm. in anywhere of the mm -hmm. state. Mm -hmm. And it shows clearly on the mandates of Mr. Governor that safety of life and properties will be paramount. 
to this administration. As I speak, we can kickstart any form of emergency response at Badagri. Mm -hmm. Simultaneously, we can kickstart it at Ekpe, despite the fact that there are um, various ends. And you can see about a few days ago, we have employed more power in emergency services mm -hmm. in Lagos State. You, 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 you indeed, we're going to come and talk about We have the caption of tackling fire disasters and building collapses, but I'd just like to leave it at emergencies because I get the feeling that if, God forbid, anybody had fallen into a well, you guys would mop that up too. Definitely. Uh, look at that. That's why that, it's emergency. Look, Never look mind at what we did. Look at what we did during so the other... Operation Shark. Okay. Look at what we did during the Operation Shark mm -hmm. when a PSP vehicle plunged into the river at night, around, around 11 yeah. o'clock. Yes. We're moving in there. Mm -hmm. Despite it is on our waterways, we're moving in there. We rescued the, 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 the occupants alive. We provided first aid. And they were taken to a hospital where they were taken care of. It shows the resources, yes. the manpower that this administration put mm -hmm. into place in trying to save life and properties. Indeed, indeed. I, I saw I saw that picture, and that was that was a. I mean, you you uh, clearly you're dealing with you were deploying some heavy duty equipment. At we build, you call it that. equipment. We call it Charlie. We call it Goliath. We call it Elevan. They are the queen and the, 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 the they are the queen <laughs> and the dragons of emergency <laughs> services in Lagos State. But it still is equipment. Oh, it, it is heavy duty, it, no less. It, 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 you, 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 you call it equipment. But it the, is it, the Goliath. It is the Goliath. Okay, I get it. It is the Charlie. Okay. And you can see. Hey, Charlie well, is another nickname for it. it. No, it's not a nickname. It's their name, really. When we move our Charlie, see when we carried out Operation Shark. See how we lifted a 30 tons PSP, uh, uh, our shark, a PSP vehicle from our waterways mm. to ensure and to give the good people of Lagos State mm -hmm. that under the watch mm -hmm. of Mr. Governor, mm -hmm. safety of life will okay. be in everywhere. I'm, Both uh, water, terrestrial, even in the air, Dr. we are Femi, all there. Dr. Femi, I'm not going to argue with you. That <laughs> seemed to me like one heck of a powerful crane, but you say, don't no, use no, 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 those no, no, expressions. No, 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 no. Shark. Or yeah, Charlie. Charlie. Or Charlie. Julius Vega can call theirs uh, 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 the and heavy duty equipment. I see. But we call it Charlie. We know and how this, we know how important it is. And this is publicly our, owned. It's owned. It's by government. It's we, by the government. Uh, we, and we, 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 the oh. gov the governor has been so magnanimous now. He has approved five years plan for for for, for, for Lassema. And yesterday, at the executive chambers, he has approved building capacity. Of Lassema with different Charlie, different equipment. Excellent. You, you, you know, uh, the other thing I note, and you've touched on it, um, you've got dozens of fresh fire engines. Um, that might be the Lagos State Fire Service, but somehow you guys must be very, very close yeah. relatives. We work together. Very, very it's very a teamwork. Relatives, uh, yeah. In terms of uh, because in Lagos State we work under incident command control chain. Mm -hmm. it's the not, fire service is part yes, of that. Look, how many? How many, not, how many new engines uh, did you? We are having about sixty-five. Six, now the beauty of it is not only the the, the, the equipment. To a lot of people, they are seeing equipment. To us, as emergency responders, we are seeing assurance when the government of the day is identifying with emergency responders, building their capacity, giving them equipment, ensuring their well-being. It tells, it, it, it speaks volumes. You know, it, it, it indeed does. It does. But when you say uh, a lot of people are seeing equipment, well, I'm not too sure about that. A lot of people just know that... Um, Quite frankly, Lagos is the place to be. God forbid anything bad should happen. There is no state that has the capacity of Lagos to respond. Now, whether you people bring Charlie, whether you bring Jane, they just know that, thank God I was in Lagos. In as much as I was going to witness a disaster, I would have wanted it to be here simply because of uh, uh, Charlie and uh, Goliath. You, the and way we Goliath. call it is different. You call it Charlie. Because when you call it Charlie, it knows how to move. Femi, you're feeling good. I'm definitely feeling, feeling good, good because we are saving lives. <laughs> Mobility and mortality that is associated to disaster <laughs> in Lagos State has been greatly reduced. Wow. And when you are looking at emergency, you talk about the response. No, we don't talk about the response just like that. We talk about the planning, we talk about the repairness, we talk about the assurance, and we say loud and clear okay. that the governor of the day yes. have taken clear ownership Indeed. and provided the political will for emergency services 
in the state. Exactly. And it has a ripple effect in terms of infrastructure, in terms of economy, in terms of well-being of the good people of the good states. Yes, so what you're saying is that, um, uh, well, no, I can hear what you're saying. Um, you know, <laughs> your, your, your enthusiasm for Definitely. this project. You know, Assuring passion, the good people of Lagos. Your, your passion for it, you know, is going back to... And there's really nothing for us to argue about apart from nomenclature. But the, the, thought, the thing that I thought was most remarkable is that, however it is done, once the message gets across to Lasema that there's this emergency here, you guys are on it like ants all over a sugar, a sugar cube. So that's to me. All the other things, you need to be a professional. And indeed, I could ask for some of those professional insights into what is going on. I think that was what you were touching on. Say, there's a heck of a lot of planning for a person to pick up a phone and say, Lasema, this is happening here. For you guys to then turn on a dime and be all over there, of course, that's going to take a lot of planning. And nobody can take that away from you. But do you get what I'm saying? That the, you, the professionals, the emergency response professionals, you know, you, you need to see it in very close detail, as you have said so, as, as you've said. Uh, but to all those other people that Governor Sanwo Olu and his team are responsible for, they're just knowing that we got it good in Lagos. Definitely. But let me, let me correct you a little bit. Sure. It is not only Lasema alone. It is Lasema and its stakeholders. Yes. And when we are talking about its stakeholders, we are talking about first responders like the ambulance services, mm -hmm. like the fire services, like the, 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 the LASMA. You get what I'm trying to say? Indeed. We work as a team. So and all of that necessarily is going to have to be under some sort of a command. Whereas the governor himself might be, you know, at least, you know, of course, he's going to be getting a feedback. Is there, when you have an operation like that, is there an overall in charge guy? It's clear when you have a palm sec in a place, in a public service, a palm sec in a place take charge of the responsibilities of all the first responders. So that's, that would be you. Definitely. You know, by yes. the grace of God. By the grace of God. You know. And I'm highly humble and privileged mm. to be in that position. So, and I'm not taking it for granted. Indeed. So tell me, as I said, I outlined three separate emergencies on the first. Um, I was just going to say that was a baptism of fire, but you're downplaying it. Um, you know, you're, you're being modest. You're downplaying it. Say, well, it's a day in the life of, you know, so this is the kind of thing we do. We could do it for, for, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. From 12 midnight to, to today, we've responded to 10 major emergencies. 10. And we are still on. We and are and uh, these emergencies that you, what, 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 what do they span? What, what, what kind of emergency? Uh, certainly, a fire is an emergency. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Overturning, blockage of, um, uh, putting blockage of the canal is a sort of emergency. Okay. Overturning of tankers is a sort of emergency. People going by, collapsing, mm. is a form of a, oh, emergency. Okay. Road traffic crash is a form of emergency. What we are saying is that we are attending to any form of life threatening issues in Lagos. Now let me go to your modus operandi. I mean, how you guys work and how you guys, you know, you know, do what you do. Um, there must be, uh, you've just established that, yes, we do have a, a, a kind of a command. But for a person to call in that we need help, uh, who do you get that call from? Is it from 999? Is it from the police who then route the call correctly? Because people might not know the Lasema uh, call line, and they might not know the kind of emergency to reach Lasema for. Now, the emergency number of Lagos states is 112 or 767. Okay. Anybody call that? You will also, it, the phone will be ringing in your formation as well. Yes. We have a, 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 what we call a call center. But however, you can call us through the traffic radio, you can call us through other numbers, but the major call for emergency in the state is a toll-free, is 112 or 767. And then when you hear all these calls coming in, uh, do you need to do some sort of sorting as to, uh, you know, you, you guys have an arsenal, you, you, you have a, a flotilla almost. Uh, so do you, how do you determine they define which ones the, they define which ones the, you're going to refer to? I yes, mean, you're going to respond. The, yes, no, not only that, we 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 will we will link up with the caller. 
and we will define the kind of um, emergency we want to handle. Is it a fire incident? Is it a, a, a life threatening people? Call? Is it a medical emergency? Is it a surgical emergency? Is it a building collapse? Is it a form of early, early warning? And the primary responders mm. will be informed. If it's a fire incident, we will call in the fire services. We call in the last man to clear the way. We put the, our ambulance team to be ready to move to, to, to the scene. And LASEMA being a coordinating agency, we moved in there. We're able to do that because we have what we call Lagos Emergency Response Plan in, in place, who define the roles and responsibilities of all the, how, the, the How do you get eyeballs on the scene when a call is made? I mean, do people, can people submit videos? They, they, Definitely. They, they we have send a, videos. They do send, then, how they, soon after that can you get LASEMA eyes on the scene? Okay, let's, let's, let's look at it this way. Let's look for, for argument case. Let's look at Badagri. If incident occur at Badagri, as is, and you remember that my own office is at this command control center, and if they call in at our 112 and they inform us that there's a fire incident going on in Badagri, what we are going to do immediately, we are going to call the local emergency management committee in that place. And we have what we call La Sema response unit in that bad okay. we, they will So there's a, there's a network. There's a network. There's an emergency there's response a, network. Yes, and that is why we, we say loud and clear that we operate on what we call incident command control chain. As we inform them at the Badagri scene, we are informing our um, Lagos West Zona office that, look, there's an incident going on there. Move in there. Okay. And they will be able to give us comprehensive, detailed reports on how to deploy resources there if need be. Okay, let me now bring on Mr. George, and uh, thank you very much. Apologies for keeping you waiting, Mr. George. Good morning. Good morning, young Kiyori, and uh, good morning to your guest. Dr. Femi, okay, also in Tulu. Okay, uh, uh, Uncle Yori, I've been seeing your guest in action. When, where, whenever there's an emergency, the way he, he goes there on time, and uh, he deserves, in my view, he deserves the promotion that he got. Because it's one thing to do a job, and it's another to do it with passion. This man I'm seeing in front of you, in my own view, is not just working for money. He's working for the love of the work, and that is how it should be. So I would like to uh, commend him and to urge him to do more and encourage his subordinates to also invite his uh, uh, attitude yeah. to work. Yeah. Uh, be that as it may, Uncle Yori, I want to ask him two questions. Sure. One, that equipment they use in bringing out the PSD vehicle from the water. Yes, that, that, that crane that uh, Dr. Okeo okay, saw in Tulu says is... Yes, I is, saw uh, it. Wait, Does let it... me correct it to uh, Goliath. Charlie or Charlie? <laughs> Charlie. Charlie yeah. or Goliath? What? Okay. What, whatever the name is. But does it belong to the Lagos State Government? Is there the you Lagos go. State Government that owns it? Uh, yes, therefore we own it. Yes. Oh, own great. Now, the second question is I see that Lagos State Government is um, embarking on waterway transportation, where people travel by boat from one end to the other. I see it in the Kurudus, there are some doing it up to Marina. Mm -hmm. Do they have emergency arrangements within those boats? Should, in case something happens inside water, okay. does, does his department have any arrangement in that? Indeed. Because if somebody, if, if boat capsizes and some people uh, fall into the water, Okay, they, uh, they and just before you go, Mr. George, rescue. what was the question yes. that you had about um, uh, Charlie, the, the lift, the muscle lifting capacity of uh, Lasema? Yeah, the question I had, does the equipment, does it belong to Lagos State Government? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you want to clear that one. Firstly, the equipment you call it, our Charlie belongs to us. It's been owned by the Lagos State Government. Okay. It's been maintained by the Lagos State Government and it's been fought by Lagos State and in, in, in whose care is it? It's uh, in the care of LASEMA. Uh, okay, because, yes. because you know, the, the fire service has the fire engines. They LASEMA have, uh, office Coordinating has, agency. Has, has, has they have the, all of we that. Have our among other heavy among, duty equipment. Among other equipment. Exactly. Well, uh, our uh, Charlie. Yeah, yeah our, Charlie, duty our, 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 our Charlie. I'm sure that Charlie 
can't come to every emergency. No, 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 uh -huh. no. That's why we call it Charlie, the queen of the day. Okay. And we have our Charlie at our hub of emergency collection at our Kappa base. Mm. We are every minute, every hour is being charged, ready for any form of emergency. Now, this Charlie, um, it, 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 we saw it, we saw the demonstration of what it could do yeah. when it lifted that, uh, that must be a what, a 30 ton vehicle? 32 tons. 32 ton vehicle off from the bottom of, of the water there. It, yeah. Um, the, 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 the question that occurs to me is um, uh, can it do, can it do anything else? And um, does it require specialists? Is it, or is it just anything that anybody could get? No, 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 no. It's, it requires, requires specialists. Its own pilot. In fact, we have about 10 pilots for Charlie that were trained okay. on Charlie itself. Because we do use it morning, afternoon, and night, anytime. And in any case, people, and believe people, me, people had to go down there and uh, harness the whole vehicle. Yes, so yes. That, that, that there were divers. We, we Where have, did you get the divers from? They are with us. We have our, also we, Lassema Lassema, people. Yes, Lassema has its own marine unit. Okay. And we work hand in hand with Lassua. And that's why I'm confident to tell good people of Lagos State that, that under the watch of Mr. Governor, mm -hmm. Mr. Babajiji Olusha Lassua Olu, mm -hmm. they should consider that our waterways is safe. Because that leads on to the next question. Mr. We George work has, hand in hand. How about emergencies on the water should they happen we we work hand in hand with laswa laswa has their own command so, control LASWA, by the way is an acronym for for water agency lagos state water ways agency okay. Okay. now they have their own command control their command control is linked up with us mm -hmm. we have local divers we have marine units and i'm happy to tell good people of lagos state that the esco has approved Boat ambulance for Lassema. They have approved rescue boats for Lassema. And they have approved us to build the capacity of our local driver to the next level. You know, uh, you might not have seen it, Femi, but um, uh, a, video, a video went viral about a week or maybe less than two weeks ago of a guy who jumped off the Echo Bridge. He wanted to commit. He, he, well, I don't know. If is he it a co bridge? Are you sure that it's a co bridge? So no. These I, are the I, questions I, that came up when you saw it. You see, yes. Yes. I, lo I look. I look. A, a, a speed boat. A, a, a boat was speeding towards him, I, and people were saying that's where he is. I, you, but see, you see, the, 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 it, I, I consider that it might not be in this country. But, I don't. But I, I was the people on the banister were speaking in put, Yoruba. They can they can put anything on that thing. Okay, they could lay sound over. Yes. Okay. With the states that I am, with what we have in place, with the local intelligence, with the local information that we normally have, with our divers flying our waterways, I'm confident to say it loud. I can be corrected, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm confident to say it loud and clear that, that, that really incident. that is that is not legal state. That and if it occur, if it occur, occur I, I'm not work. really sure mm -hmm. whether it's of recent or because not. I was going because to ask I look at if that because person, we have, we if have, that hapless person was rescued. We have saved a lot because of people. Uh, the video ended just where this boat was speeding towards the very place the man had jumped into. We, so it didn't conclude well. Yes, because we have saved a lot of people along that our waterways. We have saved a lot of people. When you say a lot of people, are you saying here that um, my mind goes to, God forbid, are people committing suicide? Yeah, by yeah, yeah. There are a lot, there are lot of people. A lot of people the, actually the, jump we up. Have, we, have, we, have, we have some records in that. We have some people. We have a young man that was about jumping that we have to send in our medical team there. We have to send in our marine, mm -hmm. marine people there. Okay. We caught him up. We brought him to the... Oh, the, the, the oh he actually committed the yes. act of jumping yes. or whatever. Yes. And then you rescued him. We rescued him. And huh. they were taken to the Ministry of uh, Social Welfare where he was uh, cancelled and doing a lot of things. How and we are still following him. Occurrence is this attempted suicide, in your opinion, in Lagos State? It's high, you know. We, we, are, we are now experiencing a lot of things. About, we, about how many a month? Oh. Uh, about how many a month? Let's, the statistics six now, let me just give it average of two, three. Okay, about two, three times somebody will come, will, 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 yeah. will attempt. Will attempt. Uh, attempt suicide. Yes. And um, if, the world, if the world gets across to you in good enough time, you we guys move it, are on we it. move it swiftly, 
promptly, effectively, and, and efficiently. And what would you say was the success rate of your rescue effort? The success rate is high, very, very high. Higher than 75%? Uh, Higher than even 90%. Because when we caught them, we moved them straight to the Ministry of Social Welfare. And we always monitor them Why the Ministry of Social Welfare do the need for. So, I mean, it's, it's good because I'm getting the, and my viewers are also getting the time to, the opportunity to sort of have uh, some insight into a day in the life of LASEMA. Uh, LASEMA, of course, being the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency. And you're just telling us that all these things we thought uh, the ones I started at the beginning of the program were enough for maybe three months or so. You say every day. Every day. Every, every day. day yeah. uh, okay, well, let's go back to the uh, fire outbreak at um, uh, Providence Bank that is under construction on Adeola Adeku. Or Adeku. Um, that particular incident, you brought the fire under control. Uh, that is Lagos State you know, uh, Management Agency coming in. This is even and it's stakeholders, and, 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 and stakeholders. It's, it's important, important to mention their names. It is. It's a team. It's a team. No one does it all. Mm. It's so, a team. Yes, and there's, there's a whole team that La La Lasema team is members. coordinating, yeah. uh, including but not limited to the fire service. Uh, which other services need to get credit for the Last successful outcome? Last to be there. Last month. The federal safety, the police, they are very important. Okay. All they, these people. They, they, all these people, all emergency responders, okay. especially first responders, you must give kudos. Now, going to back them. to the construction. And the private people, too. Sure. Now, going back to the construction side, what we usually have seen in the past or heard of in the past when you've come on the program is that uh, some building has either come down or is threatening uh, to come down. But in that case, uh, it was arguably a construction going on the way it should be. No part of it was said to be in danger yes. of, being, of collapsing. Yeah. Um, but have you established yet what happened? Because it's delicate to talk about fire incidents since fire experts usually want to investigate and get to the cause of the fire. But we've seen some speculations that that, that Providus, am, am I saying it right? Is it Providus Bank under construction? Yeah. One, one version has it that... Um, uh, a, a generator was being, uh, somebody was trying to fuel a, a generator while it was still on. Another version uh, has it differently that uh, uh, workers continue to work. So what is the truth as to what happened? Well, concerning what happened, investigation is still on. Okay. But from the preliminary investigations, mm -hmm. we were informed that the, 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 the source of the fire is that it's from the the, the, from the generator. Okay. And the, maybe there is a spark. Maybe somebody is trying to fill it. We, are, we have not yet okay. ascertained the, that. The second it, version I heard was that a welder was working near a generator. Yeah. So Th we, these we, are speculations. These are speculations. But investigation is still ongoing. They are going to come up with it. But the most important thing is that it started from the generating From uh, the generating room. The room. Now, my own question that I quickly ask, where are the fire extinguishers? We but have the safety measures. In the viral in social media the, video, we saw dozens and dozens of uh, fire extinguisher where are, where canisters are the, where, where are the lying fire, on the floor. Where, where are the safety personnel in there? These are things that we are still going to look while we are investigating the issue. We will look at it holistically. We will be able to provide lesson learned into, in, in, into all this. And investigation is going on. And the safety commission is handling, it, it, it. It's, they are, it's they are handling the one handling the, the, the issue. Did and you, I'm sure they are going to come up with a, a, a holistic report for us to learn a lot of things Did, from did I get the report that uh, at this particular building site, uh, the Providence Bank building site, um, the operatives there were hostile and wouldn't, they let, are, they they wouldn't they, let you in? They, 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 they were hostile. And, and we... It, to us, I think, is that ignorance on their own part. We sympathize with them about what happened. But they need to realize that in any disaster thing, we take charge, we work hand in hand to them. Yes. It's for their own and benefits. And that they need help. But yes. they were hostile. They were they, trying to secure the they environment. They were trying to secure the environment. They were trying to... But, uh, but you guys were in uniform now. We were in uniform. So I, but, I'm surprised and that, that, and that, is why that an agency that, would be prevented that, from and, accessing and a site in really, the heat of an emergency. Much we sympathize with them. It's ignorance about big deal. Uh, but And that is why we've moved back again okay. to sensitize them. Okay. That, look, 
gentlemen, we have to work together as a team. And we did it happen here. ultimately? Yeah, that's what we do. Uh, is, we it true that it is, is it true that there was a charred body burnt in, in, in the, in the, in the uh, generator room? Yes, there that, was a, a charred body that we supposed to uh, uh, bag into the uh, body bags and um, sent to the mortuary. mortuary. But eventually, I think they, they, they handle it. But you see, La Sema, as an organization with its stakeholders, we must be able to carry the people Maybe we along. need to do information campaigns we, 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 as we, we go we, ahead. That's one, uh, that's one of the things uh, that we are doing. Ma Ma since Ma 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 them, building their capacity. Thank you for calling in and also for holding on. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, sir. You're the people I guess in the studio. Yeah. Sir, I want to find out for our guest. You see, Lagos, uh, every time you watch this, when you, see, you see that Lagos, this traffic, deadlock, it's always a major problem in Lagos. I'm trying to find out from our guys in the studio, how do you handle such a thing when the traffic deadlock? And secondly, I'm suggesting, Lagos, if you are entering, if you are coming from uh, uh, to Lagos, you see that they, they will not take away from the Lagos to say, this is Lagos, which means Lagos is a city different from any part of uh, this country. Because even if you go to World Map, when GP Super are reported, you see there on the map there. Not Abuja, Lagos is still appearing on the World Map as the capital of Nigeria. What do they say? I'll take a note of it. Now, is it not necessary for Lagos State government to have what you call a helicopter? Because when you look outside the country, you see that helicopter, they use it in terms of fire disaster to do what? Reduce some of these fire incidents under such. Mm. I'm suggesting that Lagos State government they are, they are capable of being that. Because you can the revenue of Lagos State, at least after uh, Lagos, then you talk about the United States. There is need for Lagos to think or have it as a program or as a budget. Okay. Budget. L let's find out about that. Um, so what, it's, a, uh, it's a natural question. Lagos is known for gridlocks. Here's an emergency. How does the gridlock not hold you back? from achieving your objective. Thank you very much. Under the watch of Mr. Governor, Mr. Babaji Jolishola Sawolu, we have solved that. We have drones with us that we can use to fight fire in Lagos State now. We have drones. Not only that, we have helicopters. And in Lasema, we, we have what we call the Flying Eagle Unit. The Flying Eagle Unit has, um, has bikes that we normally use to clear the road. Okay. And the most important thing, that we are doing, we've started kind of what we call awareness, sensitization to the good people of Lagos State, mm -hmm. what they need to do mm -hmm. when there is any form of emergency. But people and know, the most people thing, know that when a siren is blaring behind you, you have to give way now. You don't, I mean, yes. are you not, is that not the way you're yes, receiving the it? way, but yeah. you see some people fighting with us. Oh, but we, we keep on enlightening them mm. that, look, it's not like that. This is not a military government. This is a civilian government. It's government of the people. What we are doing is for the, is for the people. And our scorecard is in their hand. But most importantly, in Lagos State, I say it loud and clear and confidently, we build the resilience from the grassroots. So we don't need to come from all the miles to solve the you problem. You that in, in with the, the Badagre we, example. We have, with the you use the Badagre, Badagre example. A, 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 a example. So mm. we try as much as possible to tailor our emergency response towards the needs of good people of legal states. Now, let me go back to the thing you, uh, you, you spoke about drones. You said we have drones yes. uh, with which we fight these fires. How, how does that work? What, what do you mean we have drones? Uh, drones? Drones can be your eyes. I can understand that. Yes. But to fight fire, yeah, how? It's part of the equipment. When we use drones, it will going to give us the area map yes, yes, of yes, yes, what yes, yes. we're supposed okay. to do. Okay, not then that there's a give... drone that's going to be dropping a chemical no, or no, no, dropping no, no, a ton no, no, of no, water. No, 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 no. Ah, okay. But, but it the drones us... is part of... Everybody uses drones. Yes. And what you're saying we, is that we, Lasema we, is modern enough to also be using the drone technology. We are, we are using the drone technology. Our firefighters is using the drone technology. Okay, let me take you back about what happened at Balogun Street when we have a, 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 a fire incident there. We move in there. We have area larger firefighting equipment. We use our drone, we capture it, we look at the equipment we are going to use, we look at the source of it, and quickly, we march out. You, you, you it, it, it helps you plan, it even, it, even before it, getting to the site. It helps us plan. It the, helps or at least to design, to design the, to design the plan. Yes. Because and you it, already it, know and you've started yes, your plan from and the it office. Make, it, it makes our operation look good, swift, prompt, 
affected and affected. And within a few hours, we've already put up the fire. Okay, let me take uh, Moshud calling in from Abuja. Good morning, Mr. Moshud. Uh, good morning, Uncle Yuri. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Yes, and I also greet uh, Dr. Dr. Okel Swantolu. Okel yes, um, LASEMA is a reactionary agency. They react when after disasters. But there are other agencies that are supposed to be uh, like a preventive agency, like LAPSCA, uh, Lagos State Safety Commission, and even by extension, the Lagos State Fire and Rescue uh, Services. Because I know that they inspect buildings, they inspect construction sites, they issue certificate of compliance that these people have um, uh, measures in place to prevent fire, to react uh, emergency response procedures are in place, but how well are these preventive agencies, how well are they doing their jobs? Hmm. Um, okay, thank you very much for the call. Um, okay. Uh, he's on the, as, as he explained it, um, uh, wait a minute, what, what's, what's going on here? Uh, that's, well, if I call this one heavy equipment now, you will say, what is this? Let me just ask you, what is this? This is a buffalo. <laughs> that caterpillar is yes. a, it's a, it's it's a buffalo. It's a buffalo. You can, you can see them walking. You can see how oh, they are checking okay. their body. Oh, okay. I get you. I get you. Okay. So, code name buffalo. Yes. You know, it's a caterpillar, but code name to buffalo. Us, it's a buffalo. Okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. you must make the appendages of the buffalo to work very, very well. Mm -hmm. When I, I call my guys, I say, How is your buffalo? They will know that Everybody I'm talking knows about what the is. joints okay. that I'm particular to hey. check. Are uh, your okay. joints hey, you are okay? When I say jabbers. Charlie, I say the queen. They know that. Yes. When I mention hey, that, hey. the queen is going this, out. This is the professional technical jargon that you people use. Our, not you, not you our, alone. Our vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> American police will say 10 4. It means something. Uh, yes. When they say 10 4, it yes, means sir. something. And the when, other quotes that when, I can't when remember. When Igu says buffalo, they know what they mean, what he's talking about. Okay. Uh, so, in this context, I, I hope we're, we're still trying to get that picture of um, the, um, the Charlie. Getting the 32, uh, or is it the... Where is the Charlie? It has a way you have to call it. Okay. My, our majestic coin, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good. I mean, uh, somebody who is busy, who, who along with all his teams and uh, all co you know, colleagues that are busy doing this, um, it's a harrowing job because you, you, you guys see disaster. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes it's inescapable. You might even see fatalities. Um, I don't know that you keep your spirits up like this. I, I suppose you can't afford to, to, you can't allow yourself to get burnout. It's not you can't possible. allow, allow yourself to possible. get burnout. But seeing these things, uh, you know, there's a sense in which um, it, it, could, it could weigh down on somebody, but I don't even know if your humor is not part of your coping mechanism. <laughs> if, you know, that day in, day out is bad news and I have to go and make it better. I have to go and see what we can do along with all my colleagues to make it better. Um, so maybe, maybe your humor is coming from a place of, uh, look, I don't have time to dwell on all of those. But kudos to Lasema. Uh, the gentleman who Kudos called, to Lasema and its stakeholders. And, the, and its other together. stakeholders. That is very, very important. Exactly. Okay, we'll see you in the U.S. Good morning. Was Good you? morning, Uncle Yori. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling Good morning, in. Uncle Yori. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Osoitolu. Good morning. Please, I just want to see a point. Yes, um, I want to keep going to uh, Dr. Osoitolu. Yes. Is there any way you can see there's going to be a synergy between the LACEMA and every LCDA? Every LCDA in Lagos, that there should be like something like at least at least one to two fire zones in every LCDA to ease their work. Oh, okay. Maybe what we could do is just ask him. Let's just ask him how the resources of Lasema and the other stakeholders are divvied up 
uh, between the LCDAs? Because I think he's suggesting, if I'm not wrong, yeah. that uh, can you not make some equipment available to every LCDA? Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. And that's why we said that in all the local government and LCDA, what we are doing is that we have local emergency committees. Yes. We have local emergency response units. Mm -hmm. And that response unit have 12 able manpower that we are training, that they have, they, they are equipped with light duty equipment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, let me go back to the question that was asked uh, the, by the gentleman who called in before uh, Wasio. Uh, this whole matter about reactive or, or preventive, we didn't get to that. Did you want to comment on that, um, that there are other agencies that concern, especially safety commissions? Yes. Uh, the, the whole business of uh, FRSC, I'm sure, is to prevent accidents from happening. Yes. So that they're they are heavy on the safety. If, they, if they're doing anything that is unsafe, you're going to have to answer questions from them. You're going to have to stop doing it. It doesn't matter what it is. Your tires might not be the right gauge. They might not they might be too old. Uh, your load, whatever. Uh, what would you respond to that guy the who was asking problem. about the uh, um, um, preventative okay. aspect? Let me quickly correct the gentleman. The LASEMA looks at emergency management, disaster management holistically. We talk about planning, preparing, and we talk about the early warning. And that's why we are talking about disaster risk reduction. So it's not only the reactive aspect. We look at the preventive aspect. Because what we need to use for preventive is minimal to what we use to for the creative aspect of it. However, we work with all these stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Believe me in Lagos State. Mm -hmm. Lagos State, under the watch of Mr. G of Mr. Governor, has done a lot. Look at what they did during the coronavirus, when we have the... the I hear you. When we have... But, but to, the, the, to, bring you back, to bring you to the present, sir, I'm sorry, sir, to bring you back into the present, take the fire outbreak at Kitchen Market, behind Teju Osho Market. Yes. Uh, under the preventative uh, kind of a conversation, um, why did you guys allow all those shops and the fire hazards uh, when you have facilities like that, sort of shops like that, um, they, I'm sure there are fire regulations that be, must be complied with. Definitely. Uh, otherwise, you won't be able to operate as a shop. The kind of thing that Kola was asking is, he didn't mention this in particular, but I'm just using that and to have 2020 you know, uh, 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 vision yes. after the event, that if that place was, a fire was just going to go wild and, and become what it became that you guys had to intervene in. How about preventing those shops from being clustered in that area? Okay, we, they, we, I'm sure the Safety Commission and the Legal State Fire Services, or in collaboration with the Physical Planning and LAPSCA, they are looking into that. It's, okay. Part, okay. it's going to be part of the lesson land. Okay. But however, if you look at the etiology, the real causes of the incident of that fire incident at that marketplace, it was due to the fact that someone was 100% careless. That is what we gathered from our preliminary investigation. Okay. Okay. The at the kitchen market yes, behind the uh, Teju Osho. By is, the way, was is, the Teju Osho new market? It's, it's a new market. Teju, is it not new? There's it, an old part, there's, there's a new old part. part. It was not really affected. It was not affected. Okay. You see, the point is that they were, the, the generating set is on and they were pouring inflammable substances into it while the generator is on. Okay. And that is what leads to the ripple e effect. It's more of the human carelessness but it also, of the human factor. Yes, sir. But I'm, I'm sure the, the, the safety commission, mm -hmm. the fire services, the physical planning, the lab scar, and the local government are looking at the whole oh, thing uh, oh, right. holistically. Oh, holistically. Because Lagos being what it is, indeed Nigeria being what it is, um, power, you can't take power for granted. So everybody has to find his own personal source of power. And um, it's going to be a generator somewhere. And you, you see it in Lagos, in Lagos shops, Lagos stalls. Uh, people chain their generators to some aspect of their shop. Meanwhile, you're selling flammable goods. You know, and uh, God forbid anything bad should happen. There's fodder for that fire uh, all over. So, as you said, it might be part of the lessons learned. Uh, yeah, yes. And then policies could come out of this. And even if it is inconvenient, you've got to go and put your generator where, even if an accident were to happen, it won't turn out into something that a Lasema is going to come and save your, save your day uh, from. As you said, 
all of that. Let is me going let me forward. quickly correct the perception that Lasema is meant for reactive alone. Lasema is about emergency or disaster on this key. You can call us on our one one two. Okay, that's Charlie three. coming. Oh, that's, that's Charlie. A, can't you see the flying goal? Herading. That's a heavy the, duty the, 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 crane. The uh, that's a heavy duty mobile that is crane. Charlie. But uh, codenamed Charlie. Charlie. That's a heavy duty mobile crane. That's a heavy duty mobile crane. To you. To you. And now. To, 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 you. And now. to us. That, can't you see how the Charlie has been herded? Uh, how many of them? Flying, it the looks like two of them. And then look at those supporting crafts. That's our marine unit. Yes. That's our marine. Can't you see the shark? Yes. Can't you see the shark? Which one can't, is the shark now? That is the, the shark. Crane? The, the prey? It's not that, the crane. The, the, the you can't call crane, you can't call Charlie she shark. Just a crane. They, they, okay. they, they, no, no, no. Can't you see the shark? Can't you see the Charlie in action? Can't you see how he picked the shark? So that that is at least a 30 ton vehicle. And yeah. this vehicle Th about that is tons. on the bridge there yeah. is able to bring it out. Uh, without tipping over. So this shows that all sorts, that's one heck of a sophisticated vehicle. This uh, shows the assurance mm. that on our waterways, we are there. At the terrestrial level, we are there. Safety of life is paramount to this administration. You know, I'm going to thank you very much, uh, Femi, for coming along and um, giving us an insight into the kind of thing you do. And also, I think your excitement is infectious. Uh, you know, it can only spur people to do more. And perhaps there's even a role for the people that you serve, that Governor Sanwolu serves, uh, to also be able to play their own part in terms of safety, right? Yes. And we need to give kudos to Mr. Governor for assuring us, for building our capacity, and for providing equipment for the first responders, and giving assurance to good people of Lagos State to enjoy the dividends of their democracy in terms of safety of life and properties. With that, it attracts infrastructure in, 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 to the state. It improves the economy of the, of, of the state. It gives the people of Lagos State a good lifespan. But, but Femi, you have to admit, all of this thing you've just done is a commercial for Lagos State. It's not commercial. It's a commercial for Lagos State. Giving you, you, guys able, pay, you, you, you guys didn't pay a dime. Look you you what, guys didn't pay a dime. Look at what happened at Galisa. <laughs> look at what happened at Kogi. I yeah. don't need to say it loud. Look at how the flood disaster okay. affect their uh, economy. Okay, we're going to come. That will be talk for in, another in day. Place. We've got to go, but i got to thank you very much. It Pam said, Lagos State. Lagos State Emergency Management Agency. Uh, by, uh, with Dr. Femi okay, also to look. Thank you very much. Thank and you very that's much, sir. Uh, interesting program today, thanks to the persona of uh, Dr. Femi Okeo Um Join us tomorrow, please, for a fresh edition. I am Iori Folare. Bye-bye for now.